What up, people? I am here today for something special. Well, not really special. It's an unboxing, but this unboxing is the first one that I'm going to do from the Disney Movie Club. Yeah, that's right. I've seen a couple people on here join the Disney Movie Club, so I thought I'd jump aboard that and see what it's all about. I remember getting all these little little promotion codes in my uh in some of the movies I got. So I decided to do it. I decided to join up. Pretty much all you gotta do is sign up to this thing for free. Depending on the promotion code, if you have a promotion code like the one I had, it said get five movies for a dollar. Meaning I thought each one was gonna come to a dollar. No, they all came to twenty cents each. And then, on the side, it also gave you the opportunity, well, let me get into it first. The main thing is, you, once you sign up to this thing, it's almost, I, I'm part of Columbia House, so it's almost like that, where uh, you have to buy a certain amount of movies in a certain amount of time. So, once I signed up, it said you have to buy four movies at regular club price, meaning uh, the DVDs range from $19.99 and the Blu-rays range from $29.99. Which, you know, Blu-rays are kind of steep. What could you do, though? It said you have to buy four at regular club price in the span of two years. So, honestly, two years, you have to spend $120. I'm okay with that because eventually I'd probably spend that anyway. But the catch was with that promotion code, I got five movies for $0.20 cents each. Then it said buy one, one of your ones that you would have to buy, like one of the four at regular club play, price, for eleven ninety five. So I'm like, okay, I'll buy that extra one, and then uh, buy another movie on top of that, not for your towards your uh, your four that you needed, but for eight dollars. So. Right now, I got a package in the mail today. This is big boy. I got everything that's in this package right here for $21. $21. You can't beat it. I have seven titles in this here. So, I'm going to open it up and show you what I got. I recommend people doing this. Like I said, I'm part of Columbia House where every month they'll send you a... Uh, choice if you want to get the movie or not you can always decline it they always send you one that they have on special price or something new that came out so you're always uh, willing to decline it you can always say no I don't want it and I didn't really read too much on the VIP part of the um, the Disney movie club but I heard that um, you know if you're part of the VIP you get more uh, better discounts and stuff that most people cannot get through other means as in Amazon or eBay or stuff like that it's pretty much stuff specifically for the Disney Movie Club so instead of me rambling on I'll open up this package here and show you what I ordered and received And mind you, I've only I only had one of these movies, and I upgraded it from from DVD to Blu-ray. So pretty much, I got all these new for twenty-one dollars. So like I said, I really couldn't beat it if I wanted to. So this first one I got, I don't know too much about. <coughs> I remember seeing it around. I just never. Never went to go pick it up, um, but if anybody knows anything about it, it's the uh, Nomeo and Juliet. Like I said, I don't know too much about this. I don't know much about any of these because, like I said, I didn't have these before. I just went and I picked them up through this Disney movie club, and most of them, I'm happy to say, have slip covers, which I was dreading that they might not have but uh this one's another one disney's planes this one's blu-ray dvd digital copy that one nomeo and juliet is just blu-ray and dvd 
but uh, planes. This one I did not have either, and it's Blu-ray DVD, and it's uh, Iron Man 3. I had the first two. I did not have this one. And it looks like it comes with a whole bunch of either coupons or such other things that I can save off of. Yeah, most of them were 20 cents. One was 11.95 and one was 8.95. Uh, this one is the only one I did own. And like I said, the only reason I got it was because it up. I remember seeing this, and it was always a little bit too expensive. Uh, it's an upgrade. It comes with a lot more features and such. And this is one of my favorite movies, which I preached about. And that's um, Heavyweights, the uh, Blu-ray version. So I'm happy about this. It includes deleted scenes, audio commentary, and featurettes. Which the DVD itself did not come with, so I'm happy about that. That's something, something I'm looking forward to watching. Uh, this is the only other one that didn't come with a slipcase, which I guess isn't horrible. But that's uh, Chronicles of Narnia, the Prince Caspian. This one I did not have. It's two disc Blu-ray plus DVD, so yeah. Uh, that's another one I got. This one I did not own as well. Blu-ray DVD, and that's Disney's Frankenweenie. I did not own this. This one I was always interested in, but it was always too much. So, 20 cents. And the last one is, this one was the one that, uh, cost me the most. This one was the one that I had to get for regular club price, but they knocked it down to $12.00. And the last time I went to uh, anywhere, this movie is still almost $24 itself. And that's uh, The Lone Ranger with uh, Johnny Depp and Army Hammer. Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy. So, that is the last one, like I said. Um, for $21... And the fact that I have to buy uh, three now, instead of four, I have to buy three, which will cost me around 90 bucks in the next two years, and then having a chance to get uh, cheaper stuff, um, I'm not going to complain too much. Like I said, $21 for seven Blu-rays, which only one of them I owned, but it was an upgrade. I'm not going to complain too much. I suggest that if anybody is a Disney fan or um, is looking for better prices, the three that you have to buy at club price kind of sucks, but I'm not going to complain. I probably would have spent that much anyway. I just got to get three titles. So, yeah, hopefully you like this uh, little update on boxing, the first time I've done it in a while. Another thing is if you get people to sign up to this Disney Rewards, like if you are Disney Movie Club, actually most of these probably have Disney Rewards in it, so that'll actually go towards another movie, which will help me out. But if you get people to sign up to this Disney Movie Club, you sign up, and then you get other people to sign up under you, they give you free two free movies. I don't know if it's just DVDs or they'll upgrade it to Blu-ray. But if you sign two people up, or, or someone signs up under your name, then you get uh, two free movies. So in essence, if anybody wants to sign up under me, let me know. But uh, hopefully you like this video. Um, great titles I picked up. I've been waiting for this. Now I got something to watch after I come home from the gym, because I will be tired, and I'll be watching one of these movies. Um, again, uh... Thank you for watching my videos. I do have a, uh, I do have the contest still going on that ends next Thursday. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do is probably instead of doing an online thing because of all this scamming and shit, I'll probably go out. I'll buy the gift cards itself, and then send you the winner the code through uh, email or something. Don't worry, I'm not an asshole. I'm not. I'll buy the card. I'll send the code just so. 
instead of having to send the whole card, I'll send the code that comes with it. So, um, hopefully you decide to enter, hopefully you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment on what you think of some of these movies I got, and uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you.